Hi everyone, in this video we're going to cover how to create a blog and a journal. Now I'm in my practice shell and you'll notice there are no buttons here for doing a blog or a journal. So that's the first thing we need to do is add a button for those. So to add a button over here, and this works for other things, up in the upper left is this plus sign. Now if you click that or hover over it, you can add a content area, which is just a regular button like week one, week two. Um, so you'll use those uh, tool link, which is a link to a tool like a blog, a journal, uh, the, the calendar, things like that. And then there's dividers. Those are the other things I use. So this line right here is a divider. So I'm going to start with a blog. I'm going to click the plus and then add a tool link. And I'm going to call it blogs, but I have to spell it right. And then the type, I'm going to look for blogs and make it available to the users. I'll submit that and it's added to the bottom. Now for the purpose of this class, I'm going to put it next to the discussion board. Uh, and just as long as we're here already, I'm going to do the same thing for journals. So I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to go to a tool link and I'm going to call it journals. I'm going to find the journals tool, make it available to our users and click submit. So now that adds it to the bottom. I'm going to move that up to where the blogs are. So you only need to add what you're going to use. All right, so let's say I'm going to add a blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the blogs section and there'll be a button to create a blog. So I can go in and I can type um, blog, um, I'm going to do week and again I'm going to suggest that, that you label these by week, it'll make it easier to manage. We'll do four, um, blog on Wisconsin education system. A blog is a great tool um, to have students be posting opinions, um, things that they want to share with each other. It could be a show and tell platform, so there's a number of things. And then I can put information. In this blog, um, please share your opinion on the state of the education system in the state of Wisconsin. Um, your blog must be four paragraphs long and include um, two resources. So you can give them the details of what they're going to do. Beneath that, um, is the blog available or not? time limits, and then dis the participation. Individual to all students. Uh, do you allow anonymous uh, comments or not? I'm not going to. And um, do you allow people to edit and delete entries and uh, allow um, things like that? Um, grades, we're going to make it worth 10 points. And we could attach a due date and a rubric. So I'll click Submit. And now my blog is out there. Okay, however, students know, don't know when this is or where this is. So I'm gonna go to week four and I'm gonna build a content. I'm gonna build a link directly to that blog. So I'm gonna go to build content. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that this is a course link because I wanna drink link directly to that blog. I'm going to choose where I'm going to link to. So I'm going to find my blogs. So there it is. And then I'm going to say number one, um, create a blog with your opinion on the state of the education system. And then I can add details down here. What I usually do is kind of duplicate what's in the blog to say, you know, your entry must be four paragraphs in length and include at least 
two resources to support your opinion. And I'd probably give them a lot more detail, right? Um, again, I'm going to say yes, they can view it. It isn't on certain dates. I'll click submit. So now it's there. So if a student would come in and click this, it's going to take them right back to that um, blog section. They can find it week four and go in and now they could create their entry. So that's how you do a blog. Journals very similar. So I'm going to go to journals. I'm going to create a journal entry, a journal, and I'm going to say um, WK for um, course reflection journal. And again, I'm going to um, put the details um, and say only your instructor will see this reflection. Um, please write um, three paragraphs about your experiences in this class. And normally I'd add questions like, you know, what are some things your instructor's doing right? What are they not doing right? You know, whatever it is you want them to share with you. So a reflection activity, it could be you have them do something and then reflect on how it went. And was this good? What would they do better next time? So a great tool. Is it available? Are we going to limit the availability? And then there's the journal settings. So um, allow users to edit and delete, to co comments. And here, permit course users to view journal. Normally I do not let anybody else see the journals, only me. And then the grading section. So I'm going to make this worth 10 points. And again, I could add a due date or a rubric if I wanted to, and then submit it. So, I have my journal. What do I need besides the actual journal? I am going to need to go to the week I want it to appear in, go to Build Content, a course link, and let's browse and find it so I know it's near the bottom. There's journals. And um, do number two, complete the WK4 um, course reflection journal. And I can go down and add my description. Um, please write blah, 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 whatever that is. Again, same options, I'll click Submit, and then that's available. So those are two other tools you can use. Anyhow, I hope this helps. Thanks.